Hello. Well, uh, today I kind of want to talk about the uh, awards, award shows that's happening um, uh, for this season um, for the films of 2018. Um, and uh, so far, the Golden Globes and Critics' Choice Awards have passed. Coming up soon will be the SAG Awards and I believe other guild affiliations will happen next. Uh, and then the BAFTAs and the Academy Awards. Um, just to start off with uh, the Golden Globes, Bohemian Rhapsody won Best Drama and Green Book won Best Comedy. Um, Remy Milik won Best Actor for Bohemian Rhapsody. Glenn Close won Best Actress for The Wife. Christian Bale won Best Actor for Vice. Olivia Coleman won Best Actress for The Favorite. Mahershala Ali won Supporting Actor for The Green Book. Regina King won Supporting Actress for If Beale Street Could Talk. Best Director went to Alfonso Cuarón for Roma. Best Screenplay uh, went to Green Book. Uh, original Score went to First Man. Original Song went to A Star is Born. Best Animated Film went to Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, and Best Foreign Language Film went to Roma. Um, overall, some of those films I haven't seen, some I have. Um, I was happy Christian Bale won for Vice. Um, now, I do want to say something about his acceptance, acceptance speech since it's been very um, talked about. He pray he said he is a thank you Satan for um, giving him you know inspiration for the role. Well, uh, the, leading up to that, he was joking around about you know, he was poking fun at himself and uh, even if the director called him an old geezer, said that the director you know wanted somebody who could play. Somebody who really can play, uh, somebody who's very un, uh, unlikable and pleasant to be around, and uh, other things, and uh, oh yeah, uh, just get bail. Um, though he was, uh, which you know, is both a slight at Dick Cheney, but also making fun of himself. Um, and he seemed to be pretty um, in a joking manner, but I do believe some alcohol was uh, a sort of a source of that, you know, um, because he, uh, you know, at the Golden Globes you can drink alcohol, um, and if I recall correctly, from the video you can see. Uh, Glasses filled with alcohol there, so I'm sure that had some sort of influence of some sort when he gave his speech. Since, yeah, usually Bale will just thank all the people involved with the film, his wife, and all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, he, he, he was just in a pretty good mood. Then again, I guess if you have a decent amount of booze, not saying he was a, he's drunk or anything, but you know, he's a very quiet person, so on the off chance he happened to win, you know, maybe liquid encouragement could help. Not saying that's the <laughs> reason that he might have drank a bit much before uh, accepting it, the award, but you know, 
sometimes for some who are pretty quiet on the off chance they happen to win they could potentially be nervous so they might want to have something in them to help just give them an extra nudge and uh Giving their acceptance speech. Um, again, I'm not saying that's the case for Bale, but people really took that real seriously. That Satan comment too, literally. I mean, he's joking around. He was joking beforehand, and you know, it, it was not meant to be taken seriously, but people took it seriously. So. Um, yeah, I did. I, I wish Amy Adams would have won for Vice. Um, she really um, was outstanding in that film. Um, but oh, she's incredible in pretty much everything she's in. Honestly, too, everything that I've seen, she's great. Um, so. Um, Side of that, let's look at the Critics' Choice Award. Um, Roma won Best Picture, and as well as Director, Enzo Caron won for that. Dick, uh, Christian Bale won Best Actor um, for Vice, which many people were surprised at. People thought, you know, uh, Remy Malik would win for Bohemian Rhapsody. Um, uh, but, uh, yeah, he, he, he didn't, um, which is one of a couple reasons with the Critics' Choice Award I'll get into later. It does put Bale a bit of a head in the best actor race at the, towards the Oscars, um, for Best Actress, it was a tie between um, Glenn Close for The Wife and Lady Gaga in A Star is Born. Um, not sure how... Uh, excuse me. I'm not sure exactly how, uh, how ties are done at the Golden Globes. And what I mean by that is how often. Um, I, I've never... I don't really watch these award shows. I find out the results as like time goes on. You know, you look them up on your phone or whatever, and you can usually see who wins. And then later on, hopefully, we can watch footage of the award or of the person accepting the award. But I don't think it's all that uh, common, honestly. I could be wrong, though. But this but supporting actor went to Mahershala Ali for The Green Book. Um, supporting actress went to Regina King for If Beale Street Could Talk. Um, Leslie Fisher won Best Young Actor Actress for Eighth Grade. Um, Best Acting Ensemble went to The Favorite. Original Screenplay went to First Reform to Paul Trader. Adapted Screenplay went to Barry Jenkins for If Beale Tree Could Talk. Cinematography went to Alfonso Carrion for Roma, who again also won Best Director at the Critics' Choice Award. Uh, Production design went to Black Panther. Editing went to First Man. Costume design to Black Panther. Vice won for Best Hair and Makeup. Black Panther won Best Visual Effects. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse won Best Animated Feature. 
and Mission Impossible Fallout won Best Action Movie. A Quiet Place won uh, Best Sci-Fi Horror Movie. Uh, Crazy Rich Asians won Best Comedy. Christian Bale won Best Actor in a Comedy for Vice. Best Actress in a Comedy went to Olivia Coleman, her favorite, again. Justin Horowitz, for First Man, won Best Score, and Shallow also won Best Song from A Star is Born. And Best Foreign Film went to Roma. I've not seen Roma, but this seems to be picking up quite a bit of awards. Um, which is interesting, to say the least. Um, ooh, apologies. But yeah, uh, Christian Bale seems to be now more of the head of... Uh, Lead actor, he won not best actor in a comedy, but best actor overall. And, um, yeah. The, um, I know there's a lot of hype for Remy Malik to win for Bohemian Rhapsody, but. I don't know. I don't want to say it's a lock. Bale will win, but it, it is a very I, it is something that's a bit more of a contender now. More so that um, he's winning. He won the Golden Globe. Now won the Critics' Choice Awards. Two of them, not just one. So that's a. Uh, that is something. Um, uh, I would like to see him win. I'd like to see him win a Best Actor Academy Award, but you know, nothing is set in stone. Nothing is truly still set in stone. Even if he sweeps all these award shows, it could still be a surprise. Um, he could could he win the BAFTA? Um, this will be the fourth time he's nominated. He has never won before, because um, he's always nominated for the BAFTAs. Um, Best Actor, Christian Bale is nominated for Best Actor, Vice, Amy Adams for Supporting Actress, Sam Rockwell for Supporting Actor, which was also nominated at the Golden Globes for Original Screenplay, Vice is also nominated for, and Hair and makeup, right? Yeah, makeup and hair. Yeah. And best editing. So, uh, yeah, there's six awards for Vice. Um, and uh, nominated for uh, with Bale is uh, Steve Coogan for. Stan and Ollie, Bradley Cooper in A Star is Born, Remy Malik in Bohemian Rhapsody, and Viggo Mortensen for Green Book. Amy Adams is nominated alongside uh, Larry Foy, First Man, Margot Robbie, Mary Queen of Scots, Emma Stone, The Favorite, and Rachel Weisz, The Favorite. 
Sam Rockwell is also nominated alongside Mahershala Ali for the Green Book. Timothy Chalamet, Beautiful Boy. Adam Driver, Black Klansman. And Richard E. Grant for Can You Ever Forgive Me? Um, so, yeah. Um, in terms of the acting character, that's just where it's... Uh, to me, that's where I think the acting category is really where Vice, I think, could really shine at. Um, I know this is supposed to be an overview of overall the award shows, but, you know, I did enjoy Vice. Um, Particularly the performances. The performances, I feel, really help sell the film, in my opinion. You know, whatever political biases the film, you know, has, um, no matter what part of the political spectrum you're on, if you watch the movie, I think you can uh, appreciate the acting for what it is. It's very good. It's very great. Um, Christian Bale does a, a great job. As Dick Cheney, um, you know, he's very respectful when he was portraying the character. He uh, or pro portraying the man, you know, he learned all he could to inhabit the guy, to be the man, to sound like him, not just to look like him, but to also know the policies he was for. As well as you know why he was for them um, he, he, he has said how he does have a, a, a quite a deal of respect for the man he thinks he's very smart and intelligent and all other respect goes to the, him being a family man you know he's very he admired that about him very much you know so He's a very like loving father and devoted husband. He cares about his family a lot. You know, he'd do whatever he could for his family. And um, yeah, uh, I, though I will say I think for these award shows I think uh, Steve Carell should be nominated for a supporting actor. Uh, Sam Rockwell did a good great job. As George Bush, but uh, Steve Carell as uh, Rumsfeld is really, yeah, he, he was just, he was really good. You know? He was pretty funny uh, for what they had him do, uh, do and say. Um, you know, it's a very entertaining film, great performances. Um, like to see. It still get more of love at award shows, but you know I don't want to be a bit too overconfident, you know, sort of jinx it, so to speak. Hope it does well. Uh, continuing um, some of those films like Roma, uh, might have to check out at some point. I've heard about it. I I have looked it up a bit, and um, it does sound interesting. You know whether I'll see it or not, I don't know. But um, it, it does intrigue me, so there is that. Um, yeah, that's really all I have to say. So until next time, hope you all have a good day. Hope you all will have a good week. And I'll see you later.